What's good, guys? Appreciate you for tapping in with me again. We took a tough one this past Sunday against the Minnesota Vikings. I don't know, man. We lost this game. It's really inexcusable. I got to give credit to the Minnesota Vikings. Don't want to be disrespectful there. They came in and took it. Kevin O'Connell, Brian Flores, the coaching staff, out coach to Arthur Smith, point blank, period. Salute to Joshua Dobbs for coming in on the short week, doing what he had to do to get the victory on the road. Now, we can go a lot of different ways with this tape, but I wanted to focus in on Jono Smith, who I see pop up more and more and more. And it's got me asking, why? Why are we featuring Jono Smith? Good guy. No disrespect there. Makes plays. But we have guys like B. John Robinson, Kyle Pitts, who are spending high draft capital on in – too many times they are literally watching Jonu Smith do his thing. Not sure the infatuation there with Arthur Smith, but we're going to start here on this drive, and you're going to see the screenplay go to Jonu Smith, shop, stop short on the one-yard line. And what this trips coverage does, you're going to bring over three defensive backs. And Harrison is actually going to be the one to yuck it up here and make the play the stop before the end zone. Right, and the point and reason why I'm calling this one out is we're going to see Arthur Smith make an adjustment later in the game for TD. So we're going to give a little credit to Arthur here. We're going to watch him switch this up. Now it's doubles. This is going to be the same screen to Jonu Smith up to the top, but creating the doubles matchup here, what it does is – it's going to give you your two by two. So it's a numbers game, and the numbers actually work out. So you got two by two at the top, then your two by two at the bottom. And it eliminates that third safety because you have Harrison. Now it's going to come on the blitz off of this side. In just a numbers game, you're going to see Michael Pruitt get out here, and the offensive lineman also get out here. And it's going to be a four on two. So we're going to give credit to Arthur Smith for making the adjustment. But the issue with this play and a lot of other plays is exactly what we're going to see at the bottom of the screen. We're going to see Kyle Pitts and B. John Robinson often, too many times, just watching the play. Highly drafted guys, they're just watching and jogging, watching and jogging. Jonu Smith takes it to the end zone. Yes, Arthur Smith made an adjustment that actually broke it open for a touchdown, but too many times we're just watching our highly drafted guys just be misused. Again here, getting back to the drive where the Atlanta Falcons could have put the foot on the necks of the Minnesota Vikings, and they didn't. Gave them hope, kept them in the game. Ultimately, to me, and the reason why we ended up losing this game is because we got stopped here, forced to take a field goal instead of getting it into the end zone. Here you're going to see 23 personnel. We use 23 personnel a lot. There is two backs. That's your fullback, your halfback, and you're going to see your three tight ends. So two backs, three tight ends, 23 personnel. And you're going to see right here, if you remember the Kurt Warner tape, Blocking this defensive end was an issue on that tape. And what Arthur does here, he gives that assignment to Kyle Pitts. Kyle Pitts, you're going to block Daniil Hunter, the best defensive end on this team. Can't block him. It's not going to be a matchup, guys. But what he also does is he has his feature guy, his feature player, coming east and west, getting the ball on a little jet sweep. And you're just going to watch the lack of vision by Jonu Smith on this play. Boom. Daniil Hunter, Kyle Pitts. It's not a matchup. Stack them. Boom. Easy. Easy play for Daniil Hunter. And we're going to watch this from the backside. And you're going to see just a lack of vision by Jonu Smith on this play. Once he gets the ball here, in my opinion, 
put a foot in the ground and go north and south. Looking at the leverage from Kyle Pitts, you want to go this way off the block. But if you're going too fast and you want to keep it going down the line, just looking at this player here, he has the inside leverage. And if you're shifty enough, you would want to bounce it outside of this block. But we're not. We're giving the ball to our feature player. And what he does, he just runs into a brick wall. Just a lack of vision, lack of creativity from the coach there. I do not want to see Jonah Smith coming east and west getting the ball at the goal line. And this play here, it looks like the same play. No, it's the third down play. Lack of creativity, repetitiveness again here, guys. You're going to see the same formation, 23 personnel, two backs, three tight ends. But the only difference is we're not going to motion the fullback out this time. I'm not going to give the defense any different looks other than not motioning the fullback out. You're still going to see Jonu Smith come down in motion. And what this actually does is it just creates more congestion as 43 is the lead back. And here we go again, using defensive ends to block. Tight ends to the block, defensive ends. And watch what he does to Jonu Smith here to completely blow up the play. Bow. Easy. Just not a good play design. Back-to-back -back repetitiveness. On this last set of plays here, we're going to watch our feature guy come in motion again. Jonu Smith is going to motion out here. We're going to see Demir Bird just sign back to the team this week. We're going to see double posts coming from these guys. And the reason why I'm pointing out this play here is – just the repetitiveness of this play. We understand concepts are going to be used multiple times, but defenses are watching this tape, and it's easy for them to key on as well. Oh, we're going to watch this play. The cornerback on this interception from Taylor Heineke, the cornerback up top, he watches it the whole way. He's in zone, so he can keep his eyes on the quarterback, and he's just going to watch Taylor bait him into the throw, throws behind him, easy interception. And the point that I want to make about the repetitiveness, if you go back to last week's tape, you're going to see this same double post concept here at the top between these two guys. But the difference is Tennessee plays it differently. They're going to play it in man coverage, and you're going to actually hit on this play. So – we're just not being creative enough. We're running a lot of the same plays. Sometimes it hits. You're able to make the adjustments and get the big plays. But when it doesn't, it just falls flat on its face. And we have to figure out why we're featuring Jonu Smith over the likes of guys like B. John Robinson and Kyle Pitts. Too often we're seeing 81 with the ball in his hands and our highly drafted guys are just watching or they're blocking defensive ends. You guys let me know how you feel about this offense. Arthur Smith, is he on the hot seat? There's a lot coming out of this loss. It's your boy, Sean J. I'm out.